Hey guys this is Ganshim welcome to the world trending news subscribe our channel for more updates. Ring of fire earthquake emergency. Eight huge quakes hit Indonesia in three hours tsunami threatened earthquake of magnitude 6.2 struck southwest of Sumatra Indonesia on Wednesday, the European Mediterranean Seismological Center EMSC, said. The quake was at a depth of 30 kilometers, 18.64 miles, EMSC said. It struck around 217 kilometers to the southwest of Bengkulu, a city of 328,000 people, at 1952 local time, 1252, GMT. Sri Lanka's Department of Meteorology said in a statement, it does not expect the earthquake to impact its island. Meanwhile, an earthquake of magnitude 7.6 struck southeast of Loyalty Islands on Wednesday, the European Mediterranean Seismological Center, EMSC, said. The quake's epicenter was 401 kilometers east of Tadin, New Caledonia, and was at a depth of 2 kilometers, EMSC said. Indonesia is on high alert after a mega earthquake struck at Sulawesi Island on January 15. This left 84 people dead and another 932 injured. Some 40,000 locals were affected, many of whom went to evacuate evacuation shelters or moved higher into the mountains. Tragically the Mitra. Manakara Hospital in New Muju collapsed leave eight people dead. However rescue workers were able to save another 60 people from the rubble. The January earthquake had its epicenter 3.7 miles northeast of Majin, a city of 63,000 people. Indonesia is situated along the Ring of Fire, a region around the outer rim of the Pacific, which frequently experiences earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. A number of tectonic plates collide and rub against each other, giving the area its combustible nature. In 2018, a devastating earthquake and tsunami hit Sulawesi Island, with the epicenter 70 kilometers away from Palu, the regional capital. The initial 7.5 quake was followed by a number of aftershocks, the most powerful of which was a 6.1 tremor. Combined the earthquake and tsunami killed an estimated 4,340 people, making it Indonesia's deadliest quake since 2006. According to the Indonesian Agency for Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics, a tidal wave of 4 to 7 meters was produced, which crashed into coastal settlements. Heavy soil erosion caused mudflows which buried a number of buildings and their occupants. More than 227,000 people were killed when a powerful. This is Gansham. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to further information regarding world trending news, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon and like and share with your family. Thank you very much for watching.